And hello. <clears throat> Badger Wild. And we're back once again in Space Engineer's Survival Under Fire. Gober may join us. He has not told me if he will or not. Well, I don't know if he's going to be here today. But as usual, I am here. And we're doing this. Once again, give me just a minute here to get, I guess we're going to wait and see what happens. I'm waiting for the stream to get up here a minute, but I guess what we'll do is we'll just haul off and get to work. I've, I've got to do some sub-optimizing to my system here. So looking around here, I have the F-41 is ready to take off. Got that ready to go. I need to do some more cleanup work out here. And I am wanting to take this monster out into the desert and see if we can't find or take the Mastiff out there and see if we can't find something to raid while we're on. I was planning on doing that last time. And we just never got to it with all the work. But there is a place out here I know of that I could take the Mastiff and we could go out there and just start pairing some stuff up with. Or we could fly by in the F-41, which would not be a bad thing to try. And then uh, on top of that, we've also got work we got to do here. I've got to... Oh, wait, that's right. I was working on the turrets <laughs> for this thing. Huh. We're going to do that, I suppose. Let's see. Okay, I think the stream just finally popped up. Going live. Green Manager. And we've got this turret here, and I kind of want to build a different class of turret. Now, I'm looking through this thing, and I don't see a lot of other stuff we need to build. I think the Sentinel is basically done. We would just have to... It's It's got the power. I think there's enough thrusters on there, or at least enough Atmo thrusters to lift the thing off the ground. We could do that. That's not a problem. <clears throat> like I said, I do want to check out that one area today with the Mastiff. Just to see what we can get our hands into. Plus I can... Oh wait, I've also got to... figure out... Let's, let's go back here. Do we have any auto cannons? We need assault cannon round. Let's see if we got any. Probably do somewhere. Let's we'll just see if we can make these fast. Salt can. That's not one of four. That's not one. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Uh, uh, no, that's auto cannons. That's HEME heat. They're here. Artillery shell assault. Let's make about. Hmm. How many do we want to make? At 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 20. You know, about 20 rounds. Because I'm quite certain we're going to get more than that off. Hello, dear viewer. Nice to see you here tonight. Probably going to be a one hour stream. All right, let's. Uh... Oh, really? I can only put one of these on here at a time. Uh oh. There we go. Let's head to the Mastiff here. Which button was it again? And there we go, folks. Now 
then. Load all the shells in. Got that going for us. And also going to load some auto cannon ammo in here. Or not auto cannon. I need to load Gatlin ammo. Gatlin ammo. There's 30 millimeter sea wasps. Gatlin, Gatlin. Oh, Gatlin. There's a bunch of 30 millimeter sea wasps. Vulcan ammo. And I don't need that. Ah. We're going to take any of that. I think that would be plenty. And load it up into the mast. Ooh. Okay, auto cannons are loaded up with two. We're not going to need that for anything other than defense of the ship. Or we're just going to need that, that thing to defend itself. Now I just need to said oxygen it should go down here let's see all right empty should go up here into that we can actually put that into something later but i've got a hydrogen tank for myself and that's about it the mastiff is ready to go <clears throat> Oh, thank God. <laughs> Ran over that thing, should have died. So, last time I was working on this. And what we're going to need now is to add some guns. I don't think we're going to go buck wild with the cannons. I'm not going to go crazy. You know what we're going to do is we're just going to... I can... Take some of this scrap out here. Put it into the uh, Sentinels side guns. And just set those side guns up. So that we can use them. That's another thing also. I've got to put a... That's weird. <laughs> that is... Is that going to work? Nope. We're going to have to fix that. Um... What I'll probably do is I'll build some kind of ladder going up or something. Probably just a staircase going up and then a scaffold going that way connected. It'll be easy to do. Not like real difficult. And then uh, the Sentinel should be able to just up and fly on its own. The most necessary part. Base damages have been repaired after the Mastiff went crazy last time let's see where is a chair for me to hide in okay we're gonna hop in here we're gonna charge back up for a moment hmm. we build a space station we're gonna have to build a fighter assembly bay so that i can fully assemble stuff without having to worry about it and we are also gonna have to make a mega size shipyard that can build a very large ship rather quickly <clears throat> now we're getting out of here and I think the best way to hook up the sentinel would be just to hook something onto here and then just have it start building and then we can just cut that section off right there Sentinel will be free. We can just 3D print all the Sentinels we want. We'll be able to 3D print Sentinel or two, or we can 3D print something else. But right now, right now, I have to build Okay, let's find it. T, T, T. 
There it is. Yeah, we're just going to spend this right there. And I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Someone... I'm going to put that in. Someone got on the, the streams and was watching, and they said, you have a very nice voice Um, be listening to on a game. And I'm sitting there thinking... Nice thing for people to say. I I kind of have the feeling I have I have a voice for radio or I have a voice for print and a face for radio, but we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that for now. <laughs> All right, number one, let's get these things uh, loaded up here. One, two, and uh, three. Actually, no, I can fly right over here. I withdraw one into your plates. All components successfully withdrawn. Yes, that's what I thought. And we're going to come over here and we're just going to... Now we got that up and running. I need to lay down some weaponry. Let's do number six. Could do rockets. That would be kind of fun in my opinion, but nothing is more fun than a set of rotary gatling. Get in here, guys. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. We got some rotary Gatlin guns here. I'm probably going to do a two-barrel gun. be like mini versions of those. They won't be god-awful firing all the time, missing, and all that fun stuff. So, normally when I build these guns, there's a lot of stuff in front. But we're going to set this up to where this thing can easily find its targets and, and easily take them out. Now, the next thing I need to do is to get all right, where are you? how do I come on there we go sometimes the game with the mods I've got on here has a couple of hiccups all we're going to do is we're going to get this one turret on maybe two And there we go. We got that set up. Now, what's going to happen here? We're going to have blocks here. Got to be careful how I do this because I could easily run out of room. Or I could easily have something in there that I can't get back. That. We go that part's done now i can i can put the i can put the camera up top but i think we're gonna put the camera right in the middle let's see do we have a remote control block here anywhere and there we do we got number eight and why can i put this down come on on these steel plates. Okay. We can solve that. Actually, there was my steel plate. Okay, I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> Run out of here. And let's go see what this smoking debris is over here. Maybe we can use that to get the stuff we need. I've used a few more, uh... Uh, something. I know I've used a lot of rovers on this stream, and that was by design. I wanted to use a lot of rovers. What is this ramp? Here, do we lose something? Oh, it looks like gyros. What is that? Oh, it's a projector I built. 
Why is my projector <laughs> built by me? Why is it all the way over here? Well, okay, it'll, it'll go back into the ship here in a minute. Because once we get the Sentinel, you know, fully decked out, and we'll have all the weaponry and armament we need for it, we will then take the skies. Here. That's a stone. Broke that loose. Now, when we take off, there's going to have to be some work done. I'm going to have to, we're going to disassemble some stuff. I know, I know, I know. We just built this crap, but we're going to have to disassemble everything that's of value, load it onto a rocket, and then blast up into space. At which point, um, that will probably be me taking what we've built and putting it into a station on another server or at least another another deal because if we do that then I we can easily just come back onto this <clears throat> do this whole thing again now, season two, I want us out in space. If we can do that. Season two is going to be like an end game for this. And then I don't know what we're going to do for the channel. Live stream wise. I may try a different game for a little bit. Might also come up with something else I can bring on to the game. Don't know. We're going to we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's see here. I kind of wonder if I shouldn't have made all this heavy armor <laughs> just to think about it I should probably do that I should probably make it all heavy armor okay uh, number two oh this is gonna be fun actually actually before we do this let's put the heavy armor in the back here there we go at least then that's connected, and then I can just start cutting stuff. I don't care if the thing where the camera's at is heavy armor or not, because that's not a big deal. Let me see here. I need to get blocks. I actually got some stuff. Oh, come on, folks. Go. Go. You go. All right. Oh, something's getting effed up. Oh, bad guys are getting shot. Bad guys got wrecked. Let's go down here and see who attacked us right now. Oh, hey. Yeah, I had his uh, helmet off. What we got here? Yeah, what you got? What you got? All right, let's uh, turn this off for a minute so I can see. All right, uh, he's gone. Where's the other guy at? Must be the other two over here. <clears throat> Got some weapons. That's another thing, man. I'm going to miss those guys as, as a resource because, dear lord... We could always depend on the good old engineer, uh, enemy engineers to come along and give us all kinds of goodies. Oh, come on. Why do you do this to me, game?
No, no. All right, there we are. All right. Dropping a few more. Uh, structural integrity here. Ran out of steel plates, boys. And here we go. Hey, we got two viewers. Awesome. Nice to see y'all. Right now, we're just doing a little bit of work over here, finishing up this side turret. I'm going to try and make it look as fancy as possible, so... If Omar comes back, he can look at this thing, he'll be like, Hey, man, that's a, that's a nice turret. How'd I do that? I put too many out there. We're never going to get anywhere with that. That. If I sound like I'm tired, I am very tired. Probably set this up without the conveyors on the bottom. That would actually be better. So what we're going to do now is... Number two, I'm going to... Cut this off so I don't accidentally... Cut off my camera at the moment. Set all this. Hopefully... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, weld that back up. Okay. Holding away. I also just ran out of... Uh... Oop. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did that one perfectly. All right. Um, do everything. Industrial hydrogen tank. Drop that in there. Bring it back. Give me my hydrogen back in. Oh, yes. We like that. I got to put that into a ship somehow. Install it in such a way where you can get your hydrogen back. That's simply just shove it into a hydrogen tank. Okay, um, juke, 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 that, and I'm probably also going to, a little bit of that. This is what we're doing today. Okay, look at this, I want to make this thing look cool. Because there's no point in having guns on your ship if they don't look cool. There we go. We're going to that, that. Here, like so. Go. This is going to look good, trust me. <laughs> it's going to make this thing look like it's got some kind of barrel system going on. Gonna... or even more facetious here or sneaky go to beam blocks ah uh, that was not what I wanted to do fuel low. how is my fuel low I've got to take my jetpack out. 
Yeah, I did. <laughs> Got a refill. Uh, okay, come on, refill. There we go. Back in. Get it back. Also, I, I if, if also my speech sounds just a little blurry right now. And it's also because I recently had a back injury. And I had to go on some muscle relaxers. And I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say I am. I am. I'm not saying I am. I am high. I'm just saying. Because it's, it's just muscle relaxers. They don't like if you have that bad. They just really relax you to the point where you really want to sleep. That's what you want to do. Okay. Where is the piece I'm looking for? I do need these. Let me see here. Put him there. And we're also going to put him there. That's another thing I get a lot is I have people that play okay how did I oh okay other side that's where I messed up go now all I need This one next. I, I have just figured out I can do this, guys. <clears throat> this is actually really cool. When you start making custom turrets, and you can do this little is right here. Yuka. And there you go. Check that out. We have hidden or semi-armored Gatlin guns, which makes it harder to take out, in my opinion. Probably not by much. Okay. Did that there. <laughs> made, a, made a few hiccups along the way, but we're good. Now then, we got that figured out. I'm going to have to do something along the front so that I can get like a screen protecting that. All right. Here we go. We have an interesting looking gun on the front of our little turret here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to try to set up Energy low. Uh, another gun here that can be operated. Do number two. We got him. But I'm going to take that down just a tad. It'll be easier to work with. And then we're going to add... I need steel plates. Amazing. I don't have steel plates right now. You see how that's starting to look. I mean, it, it gives it an odd look. And it'll still shoot just perfectly fine, like... Let's see. I need a 
Or hold on, I just need steel plates. So let's look in here. Do we have any steel plates? Yes, we do. We got plenty of steel plates. Drop down here. Let's run over and turn it on. We're gonna get this first turret done, and it's been only been 30 minutes. Now the plan here is, like I said, get that one turret done. Get the F-41, the F-51, either F-51 or F-41 figured out. You need to take the Mastiff, head over and raid that one area. I do want to, at some point, take the Sentinel out and check out that one guy, Steve, is mine. As we go there, we can take that on. As long as we get the cannons and weaponry to take it, we can take it. I think we got a few missiles on there. This is going to need a repaint at some point. Oh. Like semi beefy looking turrets. Looks good in my opinion. Now for the next half of this. Number seven. Also, before anyone asks, I know a lot of people ask me the same question a lot. They're like, how do you build like this? It's it's really simple. At least the explanation is. You just practice and study other people's builds. I learned so much. People like Venom and Blinky looking at some of the stuff they've done and then finding ways to take what they do and put it into my stuff that it would drive you nuts when you saw half the stuff I had I had managed to do. This There and there. Look at that. We got this weird and nifty looking turret that will just light the world on fire as soon as we pull it out. And then this is just going to take a repaint. Like it done. And looky there, ladies and gents. Uh. There, uh, I can't, I. Go. Any metal grids? All right, all right. Oh, we're wrecking something now. I really laid in something. Gatlin guns collected. I kind of want to put a screen on this <laughs> and um, use it. I don't think I will. I kind of wonder what would happen if I had swapped them around and made or made that more of a, a turret looking thing. I do need to set this turret up though and then flip it so it can operate. So let's do that. We're going to have to go inside the Sentinel. Inside this beautiful Mamma Jamma here. On the top down. Open her up. Let the airlock do its thing. And there we go. Inside. 
Yeah, the Sentinel has two turret controllers down here at the bottom. One for either side. Let me see. Good stuff's at. Okay. With. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta figure out where that hinge is. Okay. Uh. Is the hinge. Okay. That would be left of the ship. Left G turret. I think that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, where is the uh, turret controller? Okay, um, up again. Out oh, again. Easiest way to do this. Where is the azimuth rotor there? Left us. Camera. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where is the the camera? I'm gonna go back up here. Camera, 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 camera. Yep. Three of them. Uh huh. Let me just view it. Oh yeah, that this is the camera. Okay. What was that camera called? <laughs> here, here I am. I'm like, oh, I got it. I found it. Was it this one I viewed? Okay, yeah, it's that top one. Easiest way of doing this. All right, camera. turret and control panel control panel holy crap there's a lot of them <laughs> and worst part is I think they're all connected we will just head on out and go back in oh, like that go back in all right, there we go. And where's the... Huh? All right, we got all that figured out. They're all here. Ooh. Wait, what? What's firing with me? I'm shooting with me. Oh. Why is that happening? That's weird. All right, I'm going to just take this turret up about as high as I can get it. Okay. Now I can finish that up as I figure out how to get out of here. Turning too fast. My God. Boom. I think this would just make a perfect little off of but right now we gotta finish this up <clears throat> okay back to basics this just gives it kind of a rounded look Ooh. Ooh. tired I think one of the things I have done this week 
that I have really enjoyed. Because I haven't bought Cyberpunk. And it's re it really is a good game now. If y'all have not tried Cyberpunk out, you really should. I know it's got a bad rep. I know what people are going to say. I'll tell y'all right now, I have had so much fun. Damn Mantis Blades. Alright, so that looks like a regular boss turret right there. I figure out why that as side starts shooting and what did we hit? Did it hit my ship or anything? Ooh. It missed. It came dang close if it didn't miss. Okay, what's wrong with the Hmm. I must have that set to mouse control, and that's the only thing I can figure. Okay, so we got this figured out. We got time. We got our laser antenna. We got our first turret, which just looks amazing. I kind of want to put these all around a base. Out in space. Just have them just looking out there, looking for something to whoop. But right now, get back over here. And ready the Mastiff, because the Mastiff is going to go out there with me. And I'm going to push number five here real quick. Dump everything in there that needs to be dumped. And while I'm at it, we're going to pull out both of our robots. Um, select helper here. We got red shirt one, respawn. Red shirt two. Fine, is he? All right, boys. Yeah, yeah, come on. There we go. Yeah, come on. We're going to the base. We're gonna go over and we're gonna deal with this problem. Dalian? God, that looks amazing. Load her up. Lock her down. Off we go, folks. Take off the parking brake. Hopefully we don't go flying into the air. Now, if I recall... Base is on over this way. What we're going to do is we're going to get close to it. We're going to probably lob cannon rounds at it. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Um, hold on now. Let me slow this down and get a hold of this cannon. You, uh, chill. Relax, what the F is it firing yet? It's apparently locked on to something. Let me, um... Where's the dang turret controller? Okay, that's there. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to... Oh, woo-woo. That's control. Uh, 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 I don't want it targeting things. That's the problem here. Let's, uh, Turn that off. Control mode. Tracking mode. Okay, it should stop now. Alright, 
Uh, let's get going. We're going to get within so many meters of this thing so I can see it. And then I want to look at it through the cannon. Right now, I'm going to put a control bar. Hitting that one way much. I don't see it. That's bad. Okay, I see it now. All right, we're getting in range. Let's, uh, I don't know what kind of range because my compass is in the way. That is, we're at 200 meters. Let's uh, lock on here. Can't see it because of the dang sandstorms in the way. Right, I'm just going to hop out for a minute. Uh, where'd you guys go? Yeah, we might as well just hop outside for a minute. Here's one of you. Where's the other one? Oh, hey. Awesome. Got both my red shirts. But I can't see what's down there. And I really don't want to go charging in there. Until we know exactly what we're up against yet. We're going to wait. Hopefully this storm will pass. And we'll get a clear day. Let me see. Lynn. Oh, yeah, I did that on purpose. All right. Uh, Careful with the blaster there, Robo 1, Robo 2. We're just waiting for the sandstorm to quit so we can go in there with this assault cannon and take care of business. If it quits anytime soon, I hope it does. I'd like a clear day to go take this thing on. Come on, come on, come on. You can't sit here and while forever. Can you? Certainly hope not. I got things to do today. Ah, sandstorms. At least the base is getting fully charged. I'm back inside here. I'm going to say that's 700 meters. We're going to very slowly move up on it. See what it does. I'm pretty sure there ain't a whole lot of stuff on it. I, I know, I know we're, we're already in range of the gun, probably. Okay, I can see the facility already. Stop right here. Primary cannon. Zoom in. Look. I see a building, but I do not see any. Don't see any weapon. I'm gonna fire a shot, and knock out its. There we go. Antenna destroyed. They don't even have a chance now. Here we go. Yes, there ain't nothing to fight us here, so... Think on up here and see what this is. It looks like... Huh. I'll be. Looks like. Right. 
brick. It's just an antenna. Came all the way out here for nothing. Oh, well. It happens. I thought we was going to get something good out of this. It just didn't work out. It's like, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Sandstorm's also giving us a fit. At least we got something done today. Get back in the seat. I halfway wonder if there ain't something here I'm supposed to find, but doesn't appear to be. I guess we're getting back. Ah, I can't believe that ended up being a bust. We moved in, nothing happened, and... Well, I didn't get what I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to get at least some kind of a resource, but that didn't happen. So... It's kind of interesting. But the Mastiff works out pretty good, especially even in this combat variant. Which has a lot more heavy armor than the original Mastiff we had, which just got wrecked every, at every turn. This one here is a little bit harder to take out. I need to put a projector in this thing. So I can see what I'm doing when I build it. And then I can just do some work rebuilding it. I don't know what we're going to do now, because I've pretty much done what I intended to do in this stream by myself. Y'all have been wonderful, by the way, watching the stream tonight. It's been great. But we are now Oh, that's a big hole. We're now back at base. I have been attacked by the robot raiders. They just seem to have effed off. I'm going to say that, and then they're just going to show up in force. You watch. I'm going to wish I kept my big mouth shut. Oh, boy. That's it. That's it. Just need to get the mass to turn here. It is a big vehicle, I'm not going to lie. Mastiff is one hefty, chunky boy. All right. Parking brake. Hit nine, hit eight. Opened up. Well, it was an absolutely... Disappointment of the mission. I know you two were looking forward to a fight. Who knows? Maybe something will come of it. One of my red is interested in flying around now. But, yeah, let's see. What else am I going to do? Um, we got this figured out. I think what I need to do. Um, could take this thing out. I need to put these guys up though. Let's recall all the recall the red shirts real quick. Get them out of base. Get them back where they belong. Put them in here. Come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh. Store red shirt one. Our store red shirt two. Store red shirt one. And there we go. Hmm. Guess I'll grab this ice, throw it in there. Grab more ice. <laughs> now, this is what happens when you're 
getting stuff done and you have to figure out what you want to do next. You're like, I wonder what I'm going to do. This is pretty cool right here. Walk over to this. Access one's inventory. Click on that. Pull the whole entire box out and it just goes right in. It's a dump. That's what we built. We built a dump. And there you have it. All right, what we got over here? We got some stuff. I'm not gonna lie. We got some good stuff out here. Yeah, we got somebody out here looking at us. Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, the uh, oh, the chick. I guess the other people have now returned. We got sunlight in this sun in this sandstorm. It's just causing us all kinds of problems tonight. It, it is it is hell on my machine at the moment. <laughs> ah, we are missing some pieces. We probably should repair that if I've got the stuff to repair it with. That would be a good idea. Should repair that. Alright, here we go. Really? Alright, and go. There we go. Inventory. We're gonna... Uh, And there we are. All that is back in. We got a nice little dump spot right here. We can just dump stuff out at. We got this going on. I have to admit, I do like Gomer's design. It works so well. If y'all have not seen this thing in action, you are really missing out. This is something I've told Gomer he's got to put on the... He's got to put on Steam. It has everything almost you need. He needs to add like a couple seats on the side here. So, um, like right on top, so you can hop in and do something with it. This is one amazing piece of equipment we have been using a lot. Now, I got just enough time to finish up repairs. On the outer base perimeter, which most of this base was built before Warfare Update 2. So, there were a lot of things on this base that I don't see anymore. I'm going to put this on here and it's all going to be black. That'll be fine. We don't care, folks. There we go. Uh, what in the world? Ooh, I am tired. <laughs> I'm hitting that one button. I'm hitting the escape key way too much tonight. I'm feeling pretty good. Better than I did. I was, my God, I was in enough pain. It, I haven't had back issues like that for a very long time. I mean, a long time. This is the thing I'm not enjoying right now. There we go. Now, the really cool part about this is if you have a ship that is close by, you don't want to like filter everything out of current ship you got. Which I plan on building a couple of tunnel miners. So we can, me and Gomer can just start eating through entire rock surfaces or we'll build some mega miner frigate that'll or some big mining ship that'll help us get some stuff done. I think I got an idea on how to build a good sizable mining ship. It has a whole lot of that is feature packed and would be able to do everything we needed to do, including probably a logistics frigate of some type. I've seen some options. But anyway, that's probably gonna be the end of it folks. We've got in at an hour 
And like I said, I have had some back issue and I am my my muscle relaxers are starting to take effect. <laughs> I can feel it. I'm really I just want to go lay down and go to sleep. And I don't know what I did to my back. I just know I really effed it up. I don't believe I sat on it. I, I don't think I sat on it weird. I think it's more along the lines of I lifted something I wasn't supposed to. And I've had this issue. I've, I've managed to stay back pain free for about four years since the last time I got messed up. And done really good up until about last week. And I was just I was doing the stream and I'm I'm sitting here and I'm in so much pain. I'm like, oh, this hurts so much. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm I'm better now. So you don't have to worry about nothing. I do want to modify this healer though. Whereas this one has been through the ringer. It's it's had a lot of damage done to it. I need to get that all fixed. And then also need to fix us up another healer that can be driven around. And I am thinking about actually expanding the crew. I have had other people ask me about joining the stream. And I kind of wanted to see what would happen if Gomer joined. And I've had some people ask. And they've been... They haven't really gotten back to me. If you've asked... I've probably gotten back to you in the Discord. Just go check. But I am thinking about expanding the crew up to maybe four. So maybe doubling it or maybe even getting six people on. It'll be on Fridays, as usual, like we always are. And it'll be up in space. We'll have a couple of VS bullpup rifles for everybody. And we'll be building a space station. And at some point, we are going to be coming under attack by a faction. We're going to bring in a little bit tougher group. Oh, now it stops right at the end of the stream. F you, weather. Just F you. All right. Screw the weather today. <laughs> oh, that's 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 just peachy right there. That's just that's just peachy. Anyway, I think what we're gonna do also is like I said, we're gonna we're gonna bring in like another couple of other people. Because that is something I wanna do. I want to build a much bigger crew. And I don't know of a enemy that we could effectively fight out in space. Uh, there's a lot of NPCs and I would or NPCs on the NPC mod. And I'm kind of glad this went as long as it did because we're fixing to get the new AI mode. Which is going to be amazing. And AI is going to give us all kinds of options. Uh, ain't no telling what I could do with AI mode. Uh, I could give somebody admin hours and we could have a, a really good fight. Uh, kind of like, I've always wanted to do something like Colony Wars. You know, just add some people in. And see what we could do. But I need to play with some other people first. Because I don't know if I can get Chris on. Chris would be fun to play with. Uh, Bronze would be fun to play with. Especially if we're all getting shot at. Maybe we could get Merlin. And Gomer. Let's see. That would be... That'd be five people there. There's one more buddy of mine that might have this game. If I can get him on on Fridays. And then we could have up to six people on at once. And that would be fun. Just building up ships and then sending them out and fighting and doing all that stuff and all that. I do want to build the F-302 again. I made a modified version of my F-302. Bring that in. And I'm building other ships. We've got the Alamo class destroyer. And we've also got a new ship coming in. I'm calling the Trimarine, which we're going to probably do that. And also, uh, tell me in the comments, folks, if you guys want to see me build, or actually, I'll put that up as a channel thing for the community tab. If you guys want to see, uh, like, a live stream build of me working on a Trimarine, where I'll have my other ships out there. 
And I don't know. I would love to do uh, some other stuff if I get some other people on. We have like multi ship battles or something. That'd be fun. But I'm I'm doing that. Also, one other thing. I don't know which one of you guys did this. I don't know which one of y'all did it, but I'm gonna have to call it out. Somebody got my video to one of the um. So somebody ended up getting a video of mine uh, put up on the Weapon Core site. And I want to thank you guys for that. <laughs> I'm not getting on anybody. I'm not getting on anybody. Uh, someone told me it was Darkstar that suggested it. But it was about the sequential fire system. And now my video is up there as an expert opinion. <laughs> or an educated source, I guess is what you... <laughs> it's, that's been interesting I'm not gonna lie someone put that up in the comments and I was like what really and they were like yeah I think Darkstar who does a lot of the weapon core stuff he was like yeah I think he he was the one that suggested it. and I was like so only only way I can figure he saw that is one of y'all probably went out there and showed it to him and I'm like thank you guys all right that that helps the channel grow thank you guys for doing that more more of this I approve and more of it so anyway Pretty soon, like I said, we're getting the Sentinel off the ground. We need to build some kind of rocket uh, that'll hold all our hydrogen and everything else. We're going to have to start disassembling everything of value. All of our equipment, which reminds me. I need to get that miner working. Because we are mining out basic materials. I would like to have a whole lot of good stuff. There we go. Oh, that's not good. I won't fall down there. I will not come back out. All right. So the pit. We're going to great. That thing is so dang low. It's not even funny. We've ate a lot of stuff out. This thing has basically built the base. And I'm going to leave most of the steel probably intact. We're going to pull as much stuff out as we can. Just all the good stuff, you know, like all the refineries and stuff. We got the... We, we will know when we get up in space. We've got enough for three refineries and... Six... Cargo containers, I believe. Yeah, that's what those are. Six large cargo containers, and we haven't even filled them all up. We'll probably fill them up most of the way. Load up guns, take down the turrets, take all of these. Especially, I want to get all these picked up and taken with us. And then we need to build some hydrogen tanks and load all of the hydrogen, which shouldn't take very long, into the new tanks. And that way we can then just start, we can fill all the tanks up, turn on the rocket, and fly the exploratory rocket out into space with all the hydrogen, all of the mass, everything that's cool. And then, and then, because I plan on building a bridge with a small reactor core, and we're going to need, I would say, maybe... Probably four good-sized rockets to launch this thing with. And then we'll just disconnect the connector and off we'll go. And hopefully I can just hook up the F-41 to it and we'll have a fighter we can take with us. And if Gomer wants to build some stuff, we can take this thing apart. I want him to blueprint this and I want him to put this up on in his workshop. And then I may just put his workshop in the uh, one deal. But we are we are going to have to tear all this stuff down. We're going to have to rip down this healer, take down all these, take all the guns, take all this stuff. We're going to probably get overrun at some point. We're going to have to manually fight our fight things off. Or I'll just put some gun turrets on it and fly it out of here. And then we'll just hit the gas and boo, off into space we go. And then we'll be able to find an asteroid. My, my plan is either to find an asteroid... 
or just simply build a base out in space. An asteroid would be more preferable because then we can just drill, baby drill <laughs> into the base and begin building just massive areas to work with. And I've got, oh, hey, I got a follower. All right, Dragons Gamer 2000. Thank you for following. You are awesome, my friend. So I don't know what that brings us up to now. Uh, I think I had 25 followers, and now that'll probably bring us up to 26. I don't have a refresh on my phone. My phone's about to go dead. That's how, that's how I watch my stream and I see everything going on. Anyway, thank you guys for doing that. For all the good stuff. It's just me looking up at the sky right now, thinking, I would love to get out there. Love, well, we're, we're getting to space. We're fixing to be there. We're just going to need one more logistical ship. Just a big logistic ship to get up there. And I've got a neat design uh, that I've seen in a Gundam anime that I'm going to expand upon, I suppose, would be what we're going to do. So we'll expand. I'll, I'll try to build that as simple as possible. It's not going to be a, a huge like crazy ship it's going to be just about as simplistic as i can possibly make it and then we'll be able to take that and then we can take the good old sentinel over here which is just waiting to be used every time i come on and i see this thing when i walk on i'm like dang it's just it wants to fly it wants to get off planet and it wants to kick some ass oh god and we've got ass kicking coming well folks here's the thing i'm gonna run over here real quick hop in here real fast. We are getting attacked at the moment. I don't know whether he'll survive. I don't think. But here in a minute, the uh, turrets on the Sentinel are going to start making short work of this idiot. This is another thing, man. we got to build a couple more sea wasses. Here it comes. Here it comes. And there it is. Get ready. Here it comes. And the real sea wasses have now loaded up. Oh god, don't destroy the sentinel, please, folks. God, that makes me nervous. Oh no! No 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 don't don't destroy my um Oh no, no 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 no, don't destroy the, the F41. The F41's getting annihilated! You, um, I turned him off. Uh, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. You stop. Why are you still? Okay. All right, let's go up here and see the damage. Uh, I don't see the F-41 taking a whole lot of damage. Maybe nothing bad happened. I don't know. I hope not. Let me, uh, okay, I don't have any thing in there. <laughs> wow, this ended good. <laughs> Almost lost the F-41 if it's not uh, got a hole in it already. Looking good. Looking good. But yeah, you can see the Sentinel just works something over. It, it pretty much just worked it over. Look at this. We got a nice chunk of ice right here. And how good that is. I'm amazed this turret here didn't engage. That's just kind of weird. Unless I didn't... I may have turned it off. I don't know. But it didn't engage. That's got me worried. Yeah, this was uh, Robot Raiders. Uh, early, early streams, they have been a pain in the butt. Now they're just basically the whipping boys. Like I said, we need a we need a meaner opponent. We need a meaner opponent on here. And I hate to say this because a lot of people are going to go, oh no, don't do it. 
but I think we're going to need Re Reavers at some point. We're going to need to get some Reavers on here, and that's more of like a long-range space kind of thing. But yeah. Yeah, I really do want a... <clears throat> We're going to need a, sh a pretty good-sized shipyard. I plan on having at least maybe three or four Sentinels ready to go. It'll take some time. Well, I say it'll take some time building them. We'll have them ready to go in no time. And then we can turn on the... Uh, we can have Sentinel craft out in space, ready to go. We'll have a couple of hyperspace capable small Corvettes. That's what the Sentinel is. And then we'll have a nice little, uh, probably two Trimarine frigates, maybe an Alamo destroyer. We have no cruiser right now whatsoever in the IWL and the IWL doesn't have a carrier, bolt ship and needs a Missouri class battleship. Which I've got special stuff for that. Um, the frigate, the Trimarine's probably going to run a missile system. And tell me what y'all want to see. Do you want to see... Well, I could do railguns and a plasma beam. Just to make it work. That'd be interesting. Why did I fall right there? Oh. I've got a dent. <laughs> Must have been from the ice. Anyway, I have I have talked enough, everyone. I have talked enough. I've talked to you off. I know some of you are saying, no, oh, we want to see more, but I am tired. Takes the bath out. There's going to be a moment here where I'm just going to be talking and then you're just going to hear, I'm going to be down. I'm going to be out. And I don't want to put you all through that. There, no, no, one, no one ever did good on Twitch with about four hours of snoring. So we're not going to do that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Hopefully Gomer will be back with us later. Uh, and maybe, who knows, next season we may even have a couple of extra players, new characters. And hopefully after Keen launches this new update, we may even have some new, even more dangerous enemies. Uh, we might even have some drones before it's over with. I got some ideas for drones, man. Everyone's like, oh, what kind of drones would you have? Oh, really cool ones. I, I'm going to make some wicked looking drones <laughs> when we do this. As soon as we figure out what the drone block is, and I will have a video up helping y'all with it. So I'll try to figure out as much of the drone blocks as possible. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Badger Wild. And I am signing out.